Hello and welcome into the inaugural edition of the Red Hot Ticket. I'm Josh Greenberg with my co-host Dina Fierstein. We're a show that reviews movies and goes around in the community to see what they're doing in the media here. We'll be doing DVD reviews as well as movie previews and interviews with people that are in the community about their projects. But we're going to start off the show with some DVD reviews. Our first review is from State of Play. It's a murder mystery Tyler. thrill. Our next movie brings with it all sorts of connotations just by hearing its name, Tyson. This documentary put together by director James Toback, who also financed the bulk of the film, uses a mixture of photos and videos to try and shed light on one of the darker fallen heroes of our time, the one and only Mike Tyson. It's all over. We've got a brand new heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson, who can reign for a long, long time. The first question we ask is, who am I? The first question we ask, language. Who am I? The makeup of the mind. Multiple voices. Voices fighting each other. Word. The makeup of the mind. Madness. Chaos. Who am I? The champion of the world. Voices fighting each other. Madness. Madness. The chaos of the brain. My early... Mike talks one-on-one -on -one to the camera about his life. His upbringing in Brownsville, Brooklyn. His one-time trainer and father figure, Custom Auto, through the golden years where he was the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Then there's his alleged rape of Desiree Washington, and of course the famous bout with Evander Holyfield, in which Mike bit a big chunk of Holyfield's ear off. The thing that I liked most about this film was also the same thing that kind of held it back a little bit. Mike Tyson is the only interview subject, and really the only person to speak throughout the film. We get his perspective, which allows us to sympathize with him. I especially really liked his relationship with Customato. It was really very moving. But at the same time, it got a little exhausting only hearing mainly Tyson talk for about two hours. Overall, it gives great insight to one of the most compelling sports personalities and really one of the great personalities of all time. I just wish I got a little more Don King. I give it four chewed off ears out of five. I agree with you. I think there should have been a little more interviews with different people instead of just him. I know mm -hmm. it was about him, but I think it would have added more to the film. Definitely. Hello and welcome back into the Red Hot Ticket. We are now joined in studio by IUS TV's new programming director, Jason Schiff. Thanks guys for having me on. No problem, no problem. So, if you could just tell us a little bit about your resume and what it takes to be the programming director. All right, well my resume, I have a background in television the last couple of years. Uh, in high school I ran my television station there. And then last year I was a producer here at IUS. Local stand-up comedian named Ben Bazuna. And this show is just like The Soup. Uh, have you seen guys seen The Soup on the E! Network? And it's also a crossbreed between The Soup and uh, The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. It's a great show. We're actually having our first time. We're having a studio audience tape that. and we. Hey, guys. I'm out here on the street today talking to people about what else? Movies. Movies people have seen lately that they liked. Maybe some they didn't like. Movies that are coming to a theater near you very soon that people are very excited about. And also we'll be talking to people about how they watch movies, whether they actually go to the movie theater, whether they just rent movies, or if they just like to illegally download them. Who knows? We'll find out. It was really good. Except the ending, I mean, it really builds up all the way through, and then the ending just kind of like lets you down a little bit. I didn't... Our first trailer is for an animated movie, Nine, by Shane Acker. Nine isn't a number, it's actually a character that could be best described as a sock puppet from The Nightmare Before Christmas. When he awakes, Nine finds himself in a post-apocalyptic world where humans have been destroyed by machines. His job is to get a band of others like himself to figure out why this happened and how to survive. Our first trailer is for an animated movie, Nine, by Shane Acker. Nine isn't a number, it's actually a character that could be best described as a sock puppet from The Nightmare Before Christmas. When he awakes, Nine finds himself in a post-apocalyptic world where humans have been destroyed by machines. His job is to get a band of others like himself to figure out why this happened and how to survive. We had such potential. 
Are you ready for another Tyler Perry movie? I was confused by this commercial because it was mainly about Mary J. Blige's song, I Can Do Bad All By Myself. So yeah. I didn't really even know what the movie was about until I had to read about it. So Yeah, I kind of was too. I thought it was like a musical or something. Yeah. You know. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of the Red Hot Ticket. Catch us next time.